Hi, hi, it's John Blaine 7 on IG and hashtag the hair samurai supreme. So I'm with a special friend today, which I have her again looking towards the wall. My fabulous walls of vases, because um, they're real expensive. Um, anyways, uh, so today my look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do is do a red carpet look. Um, I'm going to reference Veronica Lake, which was a very um, iconic beauty of the late 40s and 50s. Uh, and this look, when you when you, when you see it done, you'll recognize it right away right on the red carpet. Um, before I do anything, my philosophy is actually making sure the hair is well conditioned and cleaned. You know, I see the hair as the canvas, and so you don't want to paint on a janky, dirty canvas. You want a clean, healthy canvas, which is the hair being the canvas. Can hair is treated like a fabric, like a fine piece of fabric, like silk. So what I use to uh, for volumizing and for hair health is a line called Vanilla V. Ah! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> I left it over there. Um, I shampooed twice with the Ornor shampoo. Um, this is anti-aging, has red wine in it. Go onto the website and read it for yourself. I won't go too much into it. And then I did a mask, um, the or the Ornor mask on um, our friend. I was going to say her name <gasps> uh, um, for about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so then uh, now we're ready to blow dry. So what you're gonna do, her hair's wet, and it's been combed through. I mean, look, it just goes so easily smooth through because of the mask and the and the fabric line. So with this particular hairstyle, with this particular hairstyle, I'm gonna want the the head area itself flatter and the, ra the, the perimeter of it a lot more bulbous and where you get these beautiful waves, but all this being more laying close to the head. So I'm gonna use two products. First, I'm going to use the, again, Vanilla V. I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner. It's kind of fooling because it's just really a blowout lotion, um, but it has condi heavy conditioning products, so it's called a leave-in conditioner. So I use about that much. And what I'm gonna do, mollify my hands, and just kind of run it right at her root area, okay? Kind of leaving, without turning her, her head too much, you can see her, but the perimeter untouched, because that's where I'm gonna use the other product. So just kind of, these, if you make like a, a, you know, a clock shape around her head right there, that's where um, you put the leave-in conditioner. Then, the other product, same line, it's called the Vindor Elixir, okay? This is, it also has the same conditioning properties, but the volume you get is amazing. It's great for like, if you want texture in the hair, you almost just want to leave it and let it air dry by itself. <gasps> amazing. But we're using it today as a blowout lotion as well. But as you can see, the consistency is different from what you saw earlier. All right, so here, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna to touch the ends of the hair and then swipe it directly onto the side of her head, like that, and on the top. Because for volume, you you know, at the root area, that's where you're gonna get your volume, but also the expansion of the, the rest of the hair uh, shaft. So, so I'm getting that, nice little douse of it. So I'm gonna blow dry now. I'll come back and show you um, what we're gonna do. We're gonna speed it up, uh, so you can wash it a little bit, and I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use a blow dryer, duh, to blow dry hair, but look at this. Mmm, <gasps> I know, it's my secret weapon. I can't tell you what it is. Okay, so you're gonna use a paddle brush because to blow dry for this particular style, you don't wanna yank on that too much because for a wave, for, the best way for a wave to set is when, the, when there's a lot of elasticity to the hair. When you, Yank it too much when you're blow drying. You know, you take some of it away, of course it still works, but I want these waves to really be there. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a paddle brush and we're gonna speed it up now. Hello, I'm blonde and so is she. Okay, so uh, we've already curled. I wanted to break it th through very quickly before we reveal. But I have one last piece where I'm going to show you how to do it. But, so I curled everything downward. 
I'm using um, a one inch barrel. It should not be any bigger or smaller than this because um, I think it's clear, but sometimes you don't may not understand it, but the bigger, you know, it changes the weight pattern. And for this particular um, set or curl uh, or pattern or something, um, I'm kidding. Um, you, you, for Veronica Lake, you wanna do one inch, okay? One inch. All right, so. Make sure the hair is combed through and you are curling it exactly how you were taught in um, cosmetology school. You're keeping it in one area so the heat is radiated um, equally throughout the hair shaft as you feed it into the teeth. Or actually the tongue, I think is it called? Something. It's the mouth of the curling iron. And you click it, click it, click, click it. Uh, and it eats it up, pulls it in. Okay, so you then just leave a little bit there. And I always set mine on high, but that's because I'm a pro. Um, if you're new to it, or your hair is really damaged, then go for medium. Um, I've just been doing it for a zillion years. Nothing burns in my watch. All right, so we'll let it cool, and then I'll come back, and then we'll start brushing out. Hello, my friend! You see my hip swivel? Yeah, that's hot, huh? You want it, huh? <laughs> okay, so I took the liberty to take out the rollers, I mean, I'm sorry, the clips, and I'm combing it. I, I use a rat tail comb. I love these bone combs. Um, they are a very high grade of plastic, and you can tell the, the good ones from the cheap ones is when you touch the teeth, they kind of sharp. And this, the tail is sharp. So if it's sharp, you got a wiener. All right, so still not revealing who it is, I'm going to turn her slightly this way so I can take this out, okay? So when you do a really good set, this is what the, what the weight pattern should look like. Do you see how even and nice that is? And just with my comb, no need to do a bunch of different things. If you are highly skilled and fabulous like me, do you see how it just combs out? And it just sets it already without having to back home, without having to destroy the hair. That's the thing is, um, we were talking about my friend and I, which we'll reveal who it is after, is, you know, a good hairstylist is someone who's been trained really well so that if you just don't achieve the hair at that moment by using whatever you can to burn it or whatever, um, and, and you think, but you think about the integrity of the hair and keeping it beautiful no matter what. So I haven't even put any hairspray on this or any styling products other than the uh, blow dry lotion that I, that I used prior. Look how shiny her hair is. There's, I have not used any hairspray, no shine, nothing. It's the products. Um, great products and great technique. Look, at, I'm just combing her hair and look at this beautiful, it's like silk. All right, so we're gonna turn this way. Oops. <laughs> that was, neither one of us farted, it was just the, um, the chair. Okay, so then I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with this side because we're gonna layer it down, I mean, pulling one section at a time down and combing it into the existing hair. But do you see all that beautiful wave starting already? And that, my friend, is learning your trade and learning it well. So if you just copy what I do, you're gonna have, you're gonna do fabulous hair. So we hope. <laughs> all right, so I'm taking section by section. You can see it all forming already. I also, here's the thing, I also recommend that women, you guys get trims on a regular because um, long hair is great and all, but long hair should be really thick um, or as thick as possible. And what happens as we style her hair or just what, as it grows out, what happens is the bottom gets a little thin. Um, so I definitely recommend um, you seeing your hairstylist or the salon you go to on a regular. Okay, now I can I cover up her hair. Wait, pretty well, we turn her a little bit more. <laughs> so combing it down, you keep combing it, um, and it will set in its place where you need it to be, okay? I try to use as little as hairspray as possible because I really like the idea the, the idea of free moving hair. You know, 
if we're again if we're on a photo shoot or something and you need to shellac then great but even still i mean hair should be hair and not be like a helmet i that's the thing that it drives me crazy or do not like it's when um it's not don't use so much hairspray and make it into a helmet that's not attractive you know it's 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 not attractive So then now you just comb everything to into itself. <laughs> lipstick on your hair. I know, that's what I do. Okay. All right, I want to turn over. So, and I'm going to finish her with her in front of the camera. She goes, turn around, turn around. So my guest today is Miss Tosh. She's... She's the uh, burlesque performer and a friend of mine, and this is the first time we've ever done something together. Yay. So I'm sure if you guys follow burlesque, you know who it is. Um, all right, so, so hello. Hi. <laughs> all right, so let's turn you all the way around okay. so I can get to the, the front area and show them how we do this. And you guys, there's a little piece of lipstick here, so I, know, I, I don't think you can really see it. <laughs> all right, so here we have the front area now. Now, again, we, um, we want to just comb it. Um, and put it into place. You know what? For red carpet, the thing is, I'm, what we talked, Tosh and I talked about doing is not doing her hair normally like how she would in her performance, where it's really back combed and and um, and doesn't move. I, I'm doing a red carpet look. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you know when you're walking red carpet or it's real life, you you know your hair's gonna swing and move, and it has to be a, that has to be a reality to the hair itself. Mm -hmm. Hence why. Right I'm not, stage. I'm not, right, I'm not like spraying it like crazy. And, but if you do a good set, guys, it, the wave's going to stay in there. So what I did is I made the wave a lot lighter. It's more Veronica Lake. So what happens is you can always go like that. You can always put it behind your ear and do a nice little bang like that if you want the face to show more. Otherwise, just let it down and just let it be. And then just lightly, lightly move it out. Let me put this closer. There you go. See? See how fabulous that is? Hold on. Hold this for me. <laughs> We're really homespun here. Homespun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to spray it with any hairspray because I really just want... But look at how... The shine and the softness, because even, you know, even with the gentlest hairspray, you still get that netting effect no matter what. I am really a, a big fan um, when it calls for it to have it as natural as possible. So you get this beautiful wave, these beautiful curls, um, and it looks touchable. Like you want someone to be able to come touch your hair and not be no, no, no don't touch my hair. <laughs> so there it is, guys. I hope you like it. I think it looks marvelous. I do you love her makeup. Would well, you want to give them a little advice too on like, you know, what maybe a great shade of red, what you do? I mean, yeah. Um the red I'm wearing is Ruby Woo. Um my kind of trick with lipstick is that I always put a darker lip liner on so that makes your lips Is that first? 3D. Lip, lip liner first, then lipstick. I'm wearing lip gloss right now a little bit. Otherwise it'll bleed, but I keep my makeup pretty neutral um, for my my life. Okay. <laughs> this is my neutral look. Right. So it's um, only like a sweep of white eyeshadow, sweep of black eyeliner, and then I really take my time on my lipstick, and then just powder and a little bit of blush. And yeah, we're trying to keep it like like authentic. But you live active. this lifestyle, yeah. so this makeup, it's would you say, it's, it's your lifestyle, but would you say that this would be like more on the more night look for someone who doesn't yeah, live the would, lifestyle? Yeah, doesn't live my lifestyle, this would be more of like a, like, this is, well this is how I do my hair when I go, I, I mean my uh, makeup when I go to events or a red carpet event. Um, this is like my go-to look. When I bump it up beyond this look, it's for stage performance. performance when, you know, the, the lights are going to diffuse. You're not going to see my eyelashes, so we wear tons, you know? Yeah. But this is, this is, yeah, this is a dressed up look. It's, you know, my, this is my day to night feeling. But I always like feeling like I'm going, going to a right Yeah, this is your life. <laughs> this is my life. But yeah, for, for somebody who, who wants to get dressed up, you know, it doesn't have to be 
um, a lot of extra work to, you know, get this look. Yeah, it looks beautiful. See how I just move the hair? It does that. So, you know, at this point you have an option as well if you want to do a little hairspray. Um, I, again, did this set on just the blow dry lotion that I used that you saw earlier. Yeah, and I used very little amount of stuff as possible because I want it to be real. So if you are going to leave the house, well, of course you don't want to leave the house, but who knows? You have to leave the house. Well, I don't know. Your husband may be like, oh, honey, let's go to the bedroom. Fuck leaving. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is true. Then you just, I would just use very... Or wife. Right, or wife. Whatever hairspray you use, um, I happen to, one of my favorites right now is um, Redken Forceful 23. 23 is a number of the strain. This is pretty strong. Um, just do really light, that's all. Just do a really light spray. Just so, we want it, we still want it to move. Like, that's what you want. You don't want it to, like, be, Tosh, what? <laughs> what did you say? I mean, you don't want that. So you still still want it to move. If anything, maybe this top part. There. I know, it feels so good. The products feel amazing. Good, we won! I Yay! All right, guys. See you next time. Uh, oh, Tosh, well, I'm sure they can find you, but where's your, what's your IG handle? I am Miss Tosh, M-I-S-S-T-O-S-H, on all the things. <laughs> cool, and if you like it, we'll do some more stuff together. But I, yeah. but, but I love Tosh. He's I love John. so great. I, know. I, I love John. Hi. He doesn't love John. He loves John. <laughs>